Yeah, thought that we could be in it, nah, nah, I thought that we could be something Tell me what you need, lay it all on me You can follow me, follow me It is You don't gotta leave, just believe We could turn it to a dream Hi everyone, my name is Azalea Blair, I go by Zell for short, and I'm a second year student at the University of Georgia. I currently live off campus at the Connections Apartments, and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my crib. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, starting from the front door, this is what you see when you walk in. Right here, um, it is this little contraption. Um, my roommate, one of my roommates, has left her longer than us, so most of this stuff is hers and she kind of decorated herself. This is just a storage closet, which just kind of has our plates, extra pillows, plastic bags, and our vacuums. And on this wall, we just have our four seat chairs on our table. Um, and this contraption right here, this wooden piece that my roommate had put up, which I think is very beautiful. Then we have these nice lights up there. Come around this side is the kitchen. We have three stools. We come around, nice kitchen tops, our sink. These are clean, don't worry about it. Um, we have our dishwasher. Nice wooden cabinets, um, microwave, stove, toaster, empty bottles, <laughs> and our fridge. Over here is my other two roommates. I live in these two bedrooms, so I have four roommates, well, three roommates. In this closet, that's right next to the kitchen is our washer and dryer. Just the washer and dryer. And then special. I'm gonna close that bad boy. All right, so leading from the dining area, the kitchen is our living room focus that's our living room this this ottoman couch came with the apartment nice tapestry your windows with the little curtains um our tv and the tv stand came with the apartment so the table those chairs the ottoman and the tv and tv stand came with the apartment we have this little chair right here just extra sitting um this i think is a very pinteresty this is also my roommate's very Pinteresty. It's as you can see, I think it's the cutest thing ever, and it's just a nice touch and a nice place. Of course, we just have our table with candles and um, and a lamp, and we have our own balcony. This is our balcony. We have just chairs, and then. And here is just another closet for storage. And we live on the second floor. It's really windy. So that is a living area. This is my roommate Myers room, and this is my room so first thing that you see is my picture of my president barack obama everyone who comes to my room has to kiss him for me because that's a prez this is my bed um yeah this is my comforter i got this comforter from overstock it's a reversible comforter um this is what it looks like on the back but i like the gray on my pillows and then we have my tapestry that kind of just brings my room together. The desk and the chair came with the apartment. So I just have my desk, my laptop. Um, I just have my drawer, my phone case. I like to add a little bit of greenery and gray, so I have that behind there. I have just school stuff. I have this turnable 
rotatable picture frame, my lamp, my speaker, um, and these are just things to upkeep my books, flowers in the back, and then here I have two posters. I have a skeleton poster and a muscular system poster just to keep me inspired. This my mom sent me every month or so. She sends me just a little note of encouragement this one says endurance weather adversity to win against all odds i have my three drawer that just holds my extra um extra school stuff it's nothing special and then just books and stuff on top i just have my candles my scent burner some more greenery and christina yang just this you know skewer beautiful i'm brilliant relatable I was lucky enough to be able to fit my futon from freshman year. If I was able to fit that in here, it fits honestly, truly, perfectly. So I have a place for my friends to sit. If I have someone spending the night, they can sleep here. Right here. I have my TV, my Keurig, just another flowers, and then my cubicle. Inside of my cubicle, and this one I just have my lap on my camera and just a few inspirational books that I'm going to read about self-development. Currently I'm reading The Seven Habits of Success. This one I have How to Win Friends and Influence People. And this one is Think and Grow Rich. Um, next to that I just have a cookie jar with Bulldog. Uh, my Keurig spinner holds my cups. Just this to have my cups and just food and extra stuff in here. I just have extra like Keurig stuff and like the Starbucks packets and a lunchbox. Just extra food stuff goes in there. Right here I have all of my sunglasses. I will be doing a review and lookbook of these. These are sunglasses from Sunglasses Spot. Um, and here I just have extra clothes that I wear regularly. Here is just random stuff. Here I have all my technology, batteries, random stuff. Then here I have my MCAT books. That's just some random stuff. And the other bot and the other cubicle over there doesn't have anything in it. Um, back here I have my vacuum and a part of my canvas that I just don't want up anymore. My TV. So overlook of how that looks. And then above it I have my quote that I try to live by and research. It says, What do you what you think you become, what you feel you attract, and what you imagine you create. Right here I just have a little gallery of just little pictures that I thought were really cute. Here's a cello that was very inspirational because I play the cello. Um Albert Einstein, which is Bay. Freaking love him. I thought this was really pretty, just this vibe with Afro Girl, you know, Black Power. And then this one I thought was just the cutest thing. It says fuck verb. Ing er s. Fuck can be used in many ways and it's probably the only fucking word that can be put every fucking where and still make fucking sense. Fuckers. I thought that was cute. I don't know. That's just me. So a quick overview of what my room looks like. You have the door. Oh yeah, and then I have these lights I got from Hobby Lobby. Those lights. So a quick overview, that's my door, my bed, and then I have my futon, and my cubicle, my TV and Keurig. Um, under my bed, I put a lot of my storage. Um, it has just a lot of storage in, really just laundry, water, and Gatorade, and really just boxes that I could use to pack up home and just extra stuff that I don't need to have out so there's that so the room came with the bed of course the desk and the chair and it came with a dresser now my dresser is in my closet which I'll get to shortly this is the door we have our own bathroom you know my sink area have my soap toothbrushes and extra stuff. Yeah, just kind of boring stuff. Here, let's keep most of my makeup stuff in here. Makeup brushes, lip stuff, my makeup box, jewelry, jewelry, mirror. Um, here, just have, you know, daily stuff, cleaning supplies, and everything, beauty and poetry and all that. 
good stuff is in there. Um, so I have my scale, trash can, little basket that holds my toilet paper, plunger stuff, tissues, Epsom salt because I take baths on the regular. I have this another cabinet that also just holds more of my toiletry stuff, my medicine, you know, candles. Up there, basket is where I put my towels, my clean towels and rags. And on this door is my closet, so you have to get in the bathroom to go to my closet. So in my closet just has a mirror, little sticky notes of inspiration. All right, this is my lovely closet. My lovely closet. Here is a dresser that the rooms come with. I just put it in here because I didn't feel like it just created more space in my room and I don't really have that many clothes to take up the whole of my closet. Um, on the floor, I just buy this little white rug, which I think is really cute. Right here is just um, a shoe holder. So I put my shoes and I have a lot of t-shirts. So I put my t-shirts in here as well. Um, usually my heels sit right there. And then I have just boxes of shoes. I have these three cubicle boxes, bins that just holds extra clothes. Um, it's getting cold now, so it has all my cold, like long sleeves, sweatpants, and all that stuff in there. I'll unpack my wigs are in there as well, jeans. Um, above there just has my jackets. My closet is actually really, really nicely organized and big. So it has two levels of, um, two levels of, what's it called? Two racks. That's two racks. And yeah, I store stuff at the bottom. Yeah. Feelings of lust, a million of us. Dope fiend, dope fiend, drug bust. Busting your spot and I'm leaving it spotless. Busting your thought and like a dumb shot, I'm leaving you thoughtless. Fuck you, thought this was. I felt condolence, I'm too heartless. Due to the violence, I figured no other option. Came up with this concoction instead of pursuing a doctorate, I could just be alive. And why being this fly, I could very much die in the cockpit. So what's the point in me not trying to pop shit? What's the problem? What's the altercation? What's the line of separation between me and the population? I ain't no different from them other niggas. I'm just a bird, and birds often flock if you haven't heard. Only advice to you is that you live and learn. Then it turn you 